Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for your new application or product and have a wait list that actually works all with AI just by asking my assistant to help me out. To do this, I'm going to click the plus button, select create with code, and then scroll down and select create a landing page. Now I've found a design of a landing page that I really like. This is a free design that's readily available on the web. So I'm going to ask the AI to basically clone this design. I've also created a prompt that says, can you make me a landing page for an upcoming product launch of an AI wristwatch called AI watch that looks like the landing page in the image. So let's see how we go. Cool, so it's literally cloned the page really well. I wasn't actually expecting the first result to be this good. So we can now view and look full screen and see that we've got a fictitious AI watch product here. We've got the pre-order form here where they can pop their email in and then some social proof below. So let's now make a few tweaks to get this exactly how we want it. And to work with it, you just want to treat the AI assistant like your designer. So you just ask for a series of changes. So I'm going to turn this into a montage to make it much quicker, but all I'll be doing is asking it to make subtle changes. And the first change I'm going to start with is putting some real faces down here for the social proof. I've made a number of modifications. Let's just go through them. And basically, like I said, I've just been working back and forth with the AI assistant, asking it to make changes to the design. So the first thing I asked was, can you add real images into the circles of customers? So we can see that below. I've also asked, can you turn the form into a waitlist, save the submissions and have a button that says join waitlist, which it was able to do. And then below that, I've got, can you improve the AI watch image? That took me a few goes to get it right. Um, it's also able to extract the background, which is pretty incredible for me. Uh, this image isn't perfect, obviously, but just for the sake of a demo, I think it's pretty cool. Let's now test the form actually work by submitting it. And it says successfully join waitlist, so that's great. I also asked it to save the data, so let's check that the app data settings are now enabled, which they are. And I can download the submissions really easily here by clicking download a CSV or click create visualization just to see how many people may be signed up over time. Below that, I can add my email address if I want to be notified every time someone joins the waitlist. Now to share this landing page on the web publicly and actually use it, I can say file, share, and I can create a link, a unique link here, which I can give to people to join my waitlist. Now, if you just wanted to host this yourself, you could also download all the associated files and assets just by clicking download up here in the menu. So let's take a final look. I'm pretty happy with this landing page. This all came, if you think about it, at the start of the video from that simple image of a design that I liked. And if we go back now and scroll up, we can see that was the original design fully turned into a working landing page.